this one because I think it's a reflection <laughs> that, uh, you know what, like anything, if we work hard, if we deflect the criticism and the distractions of what our vision and goal is, we can stand tall on whatever horse we want to ride, <laughs> whether it's the educational horse, whether it's the political horse, whether it's in our, our personal lives. So this will have very good meaning for me as I put it on my desk. So it's a very, very <laughs> And I want to say welcome to Elaine and Barty as the, uh, the founders of, of this academy and uh, their success that they've had in starting it. And I understand now this is the 27th uh, location in Ontario. Yes, so uh, it, it, sh yes. it shows you the tremendous growth and, and really the reputation that you've built over the many years. And uh, I congratulate you. And of course, I want to say congratulations to, to Luther and Serene uh, for their commitment to Markham, for their belief in, in establishing this academy here in, in our community. And I have to say, we're very lucky in this area. Uh, our schools, as Alan knows, uh, quite often are in the top five across the province of Ontario. You'll, it's not unusual to find Markham schools being in the top five. But I will say this, you know, that, that's one reflection of how good the, the school system is, but we know within that school system, uh, students struggle with particular subjects. And we want to, as best as we can as a community, to unleash the full potential that the children have so that they can pursue their dreams. And so what I love about this academy, it really focuses in on some very key subjects, certainly mathematics and English, physics, chemistry, and, and I know that you've really kind of perfected your system over the last 30 years uh, in that, uh, I guess it's a, an acronym is STEM. You can focus on the science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And through that, uh, kids' grades improve. And they do better in the school system so that more schools can end up on the top 10 list. Uh, higher school. And, and a higher <laughs> score as well uh, for, our, for our schools. But really... You know, it's amazing uh, uh, and you, to witness kids when they get that support, to see their minds, to see them, uh, really that transformation that takes place. So I always welcome businesses into our community because I think it's great to see the investment, but this one has, I think, a, a special cause, and that is to unleash the potential of young children in our community. And for that, I, I say thank you. And I would like to present to you your first tax bill. <laughs> <laughs> they, don't, they don't all come free. Right? The next one will just be in an envelope. <laughs> all kidding aside, we do have the lowest taxes in the GTA yeah. and the yeah. area, uh, all throughout the election, and uh, we're going to continue to try and keep taxes low. Uh, but in the meantime, I really want to present a certificate to you that reads the Mayor and members of Council for the City of Markham extend congratulations and best wishes to Academy for Mathematics and English in celebration of your grand opening at 5954 Highway 7. It's dated November 1st, 2014. It's signed by myself as the Mayor and I present it on behalf of our Council, our entire community, and to your future, you know, your future students. Yes. The students that you will unleash their potential and that means a better society, a stronger province, and a stronger Canada. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. join us as well. I couldn't have said anything better than what you said. <laughs> 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 I asked him too much. <laughs>